I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, the first passenger carrying drone takes flight, Aereo plans to shake up broadcasting in the south, and we hit the road with two wheels and no clutch on Honda's CTX 700. These days, airlines are cutting costs wherever they can. First it was the pillows, then the blankets, then in-flight meals. What's next? The pilot? Well, yeah. This 19-seat business plane tested by a research consortium Astrea flew 500 miles in civilian airspace over England while being operated entirely by a flight engineer on the ground. For safety reasons, a pilot was on board for takeoff and landing. To foolproof this system, researchers tested the plane with the introduction of fake objects, or virtual obstructions, in its path that would force the plane to change course to avoid a collision. Details are just being released to the public about the April test flight, but I think it's safe to say we need to know a little more about this pilotless plane before hopping on board. The upstart streaming service Aereo faces legal challenges wherever it sets up shop, so the 11th Circuit Court had better get ready. Atlanta will be the next market to get access to Aereo streaming over-the-air TV service, set to launch on June 17th. Subscribers will have access to 27 broadcast channels, including the four major networks. This is the third market for Aereo in its aggressive and tumultuous 23-city expansion plan. So far, Aereo has won all of the legal challenges the networks have thrown its way. But law in the South is a little bit different. If you're not sure what I mean, Aereo subscribers, tune in to Channel 11 at about 2 p.m. this afternoon. You'll see what I mean. Riding a motorcycle for the first time can be described as a combination of balancing on a heavy bicycle while learning to drive a small stick shift car. The thing is, most people are used to driving automatics these days. So, it's easy to understand why Honda's new entry-level bike rolls without a shift lever or a clutch. The CTX 700 DCT features a six-speed automatic transmission with a sport mode and manual shift option. DT's automotive editor, Bill Robertson, got out on one and pushed it to its limits, which were pretty impressive. Surprisingly, low speed performance, usually the downfall of any automatic transmission bike, was spot on. Take a look at his full review in the automotive section later today. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.